Hi, I'm Larry Harrington from Bachman Trains. We're here at the Amherst Modeler Show in Springfield, Massachusetts. I'm going to show you, and along with them, all American trains today, and we're going to show you some of the new models that we have coming out or are in stock currently. Um, we'll start out with one of our newest models in ON30. This is our Baldwin trench engine. Um, these locomotives were sent over to France during World War I to help supply the troop lines with um, troop movements and also supplies. So they're coming three different versions that were over in the trenches and then we also did an unlettered black version and then when it came back to the United States some of them were repainted and repurposed so you know short lines also used them as well so there will be some um, re remodeling there. Uh, back here on N scale we have our EM1 back in the line but this time we introduced um, sound from Soundtracks it's our economy sound system in both the EM1 locomotive and then our J class locomotive as well. Right, down below in N scale again is our GP40 in, with sound. It's in a few different models. This is all new tooling for the GP40. It was one of our oldest locomotives in the, in the line. We retooled it from scratch and it's much better detail than it was before. A new feature for N scale is our, for our 50 foot box cars are cleaning cars. So you can use these to keep your track nice and clean and your trains running well any, during the, your operating sessions. A couple new 40 foot box cars and gondolas in HO as well and N scale as well. Um, now we're going to move on to HO. We have uh, to continue with our streamline baggage cars. We added, added the baggage car this time. We have, I believe, five SKUs available with that. A couple new paint schemes in the ACS 64. We did a couple numbers, but the most mobility scheme is the most uh, different than we've had before. That was done when the service was first introduced on the Amtrak Northeast Corridor line. Now our most exciting product we've had out is the, uh, it's not out yet, we'll be out mid-year, is our um, Charger locomotive. We spent a tremendous amount of time with Siemens from Germany. They get, helped us with the engineering of the product. Um, it has 10 lighting features, which is probably never been done before in any delivered locomotive from a manufacturer. We have um, full sounds. We were out in Colorado at the American uh, TTCI testing facility, and got clean sounds for two days, and it, we're really happy with the results so far. I can demo a few of the quick sounds after we run down these products here. Next, we did our Decapod reissue with those, but we also did Wow Sound, and again, has the Keep Alive feature. And we did those in five paint schemes. Um, this, this we just came out with last year, but it's still pretty new as our 280 uh, consolidation with WOW Sounds. These are our poultry cars in HO. And you can see the we used a clear body shell and we decorated it with a graphic inside so that you get the three-dimensional look of the chickens being inside of the box car or the poultry car. Um, last year we had a few Test, test weight or scale test cars and we've sold very well so we expanded the road name selection and did four new ones New York Central, Santa Fe, uh, Milwaukee Road and Pennsylvania. Um, over here we have our high cube car that we retooled with a sliding door now and we also did an alternate door for the Rio Grande style. Reissued our Acela set down there in HO, new um, graphics. And uh, this is our new, one of our new starter sets, the Strike Force. Well, let me show you a few features on the Charger locomotive. As you can see, it has full lighting in the front here with a headlight, ditch lights, marker lights, strobe lights. There's even a, a unique feature of this locomotive has a, a car to work light that's seen running when the locomotive is running many times. Um, it also has uh, full sound. This is the bell. Well, that's the horn. There's the bell this time. As you notice, when the bell rings, the ditch lights will alternate. And it's a long horn. 
Same thing happens there. And we have a brake feature um, with function five. If you, if you hear the brake squeals, they're pretty light, but if it's under load, it does a lot of louder brake squeals. But after five times, it will go into emergency stop mode. And the, you hear the air dump, and then the red light, flashing light comes on on the locomotive. So that pretty much wraps it up here today at the show. Thanks for stopping by, and you have a great day.